Garnet hunting his man. Very explosive start here. I can't really see them keeping up this pace, or maybe they could. And then he ran on to that right hand there, Rob. Both connecting. You called it, Rob. You said this is going to be an explosive fight, and it's not failing to deliver here. We've got the taekwondo legs of Mochis. Whoa, big left hand for, from Chris. And you've got the more tire style fight from Garnet. This guy that is definitely being the aggressor here coming forward, but he's got to be careful not walking onto something. Because well, Marquise is throwing some heavy leather. This kind of looks like he's a bit of a, you know, Taekwondo sort of style with a side stance rod, you know, bouncing his feet. Taekwondo or maybe a bit of karate. He must have, must have a little background in that, I believe. As you can see, his hands down. He's trying to entice the guy to come in. Rushing forward with, like, a, like I say, a karate style kind of blitz. Yeah, Joe, you can see that on his feet, his hands by his waist. He's very focused. Very much that Taekwondo style, and as you said, Brad, they've slowed down now. Yeah, it's difficult to keep that pace up. For yeah, too long. I, I, I would have been surprised to get that pace up. Yeah, they're still throwing leather, Rob. They're both throwing very high, you know, volume of punches and kicks. It's combinations. There's no single shot. Everything punctuated with something else. And it's definitely like a contrast of, uh, contrast of stars here, because Chris Garnett definitely has a typical kind of, uh, I think, Dutch kickboxing sort of style with a high guard, mid-range sort of guard here. Uh, like high's going up, shoulders up. And you see, you see uh, Gio, Gio kind of, who did I say, with that counter-striking blitz forward type style there. Poor, poor Garnett there. More of a slip, I, I believe. Garnet being caught out of range with those hands. Yeah, Marquise has did a great job of judging his range, staying just, a, just out of range and blitzing forward. Beautiful work by both fighters. Both able to fight on the attack and the counter. Round two underway. I just saw Gio get a bit of word of wisdom about Michael Page in the crowd. So, yeah, there must be kickboxing buddies, like I was saying. You know, it definitely blows some of these uh, technique here. Nice work by Garnet again. It's really, because they're fighting in the cage as well, Rob, it's really hard to, like, cut someone off with, a, like, an octagon, you know? Especially with someone with really good movement like Gio, he's managed just to evade, move one way around the other. But, but if this was in a ring, I think it would suit Garnet a lot more. Bit of a low bow there, Rob. Yeah, a bit of a snap against the cup. Seems fine though. Looks like we're going to continue very soon. So we're underway. Touch of gloves. Wow, that was a nice kick by Gio. Yeah, he's just out of range. Gio's doing a fantastic job of just keeping out of range. You know? Garnet starting to slow down a little bit. I, I think Gio's managing to catch it and walk it in, or, and he's landing those punches a bit more clean. Whoa. That was <laughs> nice. I don't see that often. That's one of your favourites, Eddie, and Jim, you do it all the time. <laughs> just like I say, Garnet's come rushing in, and Gio's just making him run him straight into a punch. Last 
Nice work again by Gio, just working in and then moving out. I've been very impressed with uh, Gio's foot movement here, Rob. Been able to evade the strikes and, and blitz in with speed. You, know? well, you can see it's definitely the points karate or taekwondo or some sort of points fighting system that's enabled him to gain the footwork he's got. And definitely, you see Chris Garnett definitely slowing down here. That's what happens when you miss a lot, you know. It's, it's very tiring when you miss a lot of punches. <laughs> I've been on, the, on that end a lot of times, running around the ring chasing someone. I know it's very frustrating, but you know, it is part of the game, and it's, uh, I think Gio's doing a great job of it. But that's what I was going to say, that's where Garnett's finding himself on the frustrating end of that game at the moment, because he throws and Gio's gone. He was stalking his man. And yeah, he's calling him on. But, you know, Garnet standing there, calling it on, telling his opponent. He's trying to make him engage into a fight. And I think Gio is a bit too wise to fight. So here we go. I think Chris Guy really wants to try and turn this into a bit of a war. Nice axe kick. Retaliating kick from Garnet. Yeah, uh, now possibly looking to set something up. I think that's another low blow. It's one apiece. Chris looks a bit more in trouble with this one. If Chris does throw up like he just said there, I hope he doesn't do it right in front of us. <laughs> Someone give him a bucket. So here we go, back to the action. I think we're ready. Back to big, big serious action here. Like I say, it's a very even contest in certain ways, but, you know, one... one one bit of action could stop that. I don't know what that was. I think his foot got stuck on the mat there, Rob. Yeah, he kind of seemed to wobble and still avoided getting hit. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty amazing. <laughs> was that a knockdown or a slip? I couldn't quite see there, Rob. I think the ref starts out to slip. As the fight goes, it seems that Joe is becoming more and more confident. He is, he's because he's making Chris miss a lot now. And he's trying fancy things, he's looking the other way. You know, he's getting a bit, you know, confident in there. He missed it. But Chris Garner has the power to you stop you with one, one punch or one kick, so he still has to be a bit careful. Got to avoid the danger from Garnet. I've said it a few times, I've been impressed with Gio's move and he hasn't stopped all night, Rob. Trying very different various att uh, attacks as well. Oh. <laughs> the flashy kicks. So if you're spinning round house, just missed. Last 10 seconds, Rob. Good low kick, I heard that fud. He needs more of those, he needs them early on to start slowing Gio down. Really yeah. impressed with Gio, Gio, Gio's like counter two blitzing in, you know, he's very accurate with that, he's been doing that all night. And the frustration for Garnet.